Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today I'm going to show you the Panasonic Lumix G80H. Let's start. First of all, thank you very much to photosphere.com for uh, letting me, uh, lending me the camera so I can review it. And also because they always let me say whatever I want about the camera, whether it's good, bad, whatever. And I appreciate this really much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my website ericgibault.com. And if you have any question, you can send me an email to info at ericgibault.com. So first of all, I'm going to show you a bit uh, this. This is a micro four third camera. You can change uh, lenses, okay. This one comes with the 14 uh, to 140 millimeter, which is equivalent of 28 to 280 millimeters on the full frame camera. This is a stabilized uh, lens. And I'm going to tell you about the specs. I'm not going to tell you all, all of them because you can check them on the Panasonic website, but I'm going to tell you what's most important uh, for me, okay? Uh, this is a 16 megapix uh, sensor. So uh, this is, for many people, I think it's not much because now they're, they're putting 20 megapixels on micro four thirds. Uh, but I think this is far enough. Uh, I use Olympus OMD 5 Mark II and I have 16 too, and I think this is perfect. So this is also a point that is important. This camera is about almost two years old. So people ask, is it still worth buying a camera uh, that is uh, almost two years old or around two years old? And I say yes. Why? First, because price has dropped. Second, because if there was if there were any problem with the uh, with the camera, um, people know about it. If it's because it's a firmware uh, problem that can be solved, then they've solved it since. If it's a physical problem, maybe they've fine-tuned the, the, the making of the camera, or you just know that you should not buy it because it gives problem. But at least when you buy something that is over a year old, you know that uh, this model is, uh, we know everything about it. So I think in this case, it's a great opportunity because price is uh, quite okay, and uh, the quality has proved to be, uh, has proven to be great, okay? So, I'm going to tell you the specs. Yeah, I was saying it's a 16 megapix. I think it's uh, far enough. It does, it's thought as well for uh, photography as for video. It does 4K uh, video. So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, really usable for people who want to do vlogging or blogging or whatever in video. It works perfect. Very often they ask me, what is the real uh, length uh, of video you can record before it stops? Yeah, well, they tell me it's 45 minutes when you're in 4K 25p, okay? Connectivity, it has Wi-Fi, it doesn't have NFC. Uh, when you connect Wi-Fi, it's quite easy. You just uh, flash a QR uh, code and then you connect it with your phone or your tablet. Uh, by the way, I'm passing some pictures and video. Uh, you will see they are similar to the one I made with uh, GX9. It's just because I reviewed the both camera on the same day, I made the test it on the same day, so uh, tested, so I made a similar picture. The viewfinder is uh, really nice. It's clear. Uh, it's uh, the definition is is great and it's wide. I, I like it. It's it's nice. It's comfortable to use it. And you can actually uh, correct the directors by uh, plus four minus four. The screen is uh, orientable, it's touchable too. And the focus, autofocus, it's a contrast uh, system. You also have a system of post-focus, you make the picture and then after you decide where the, the, where the neat part should go, where, where the focus point is. You actually decide after making the picture, you have this option, obviously it's not on everything. Measuring the light is really good, you have uh, uh, 1728 zones so it's really precise it's really really good ISO is from uh, sorry uh, I'm not there yet it's from 200 to uh, 25 600 uh, ISO uh, it's I think completely use usable until 1600 and quite acceptable up to 3200 afterwards is more difficult okay 
uh, the speed uh, the, the the shutter goes the mechanical one up to 4000 of a second and the electronic one up to 16000 of a second okay burst if you do a normal burst 9 frames per second but Panasonic has a system called 4K Photo. You actually make a small short uh, movie, a 4K movie, and then you extract, uh, they extract, they make it for you. you. You select, well, they make the, the short movie for you when you press, it's actually a movie, and then you extract the picture you want. The resolution then is only 8 megapixels, but you can have a burst of up, up to 30 frames per second. It does focus stacking, so if you want to do like a macro picture, it moves the the, the the dot and then the the focus point so you have more depth of field you can make up to 999 pictures okay so you already have uh, full depth of field it's great it does time lapse panoramic picture which are um, for some people it's like a toy and for others something you really need take into account that someone who buys that kind of camera wants to make about everything with it pictures video time lapse uh, panoramic so it's great that you have these features you have flash uh, you have uh, an integrated flash i'm going to switch it on it's here okay obviously you have also a hot shoe okay it syncs at 160 60th of a second i think it's really low i think i would prefer to have 200 or 250th of a second but well that's okay and that's okay it depends i mean it's like any tool the, the best tool is the one you know actually okay uh as said before you have the photo 4k system that they, they have by uh, panasonic obviously i say it but it's like repeating every camera because now that everyone does it you have uh, filters you have uh, uh, some kind of uh, edition, photo edition within on, on, within the camera, so you don't have to go to a computer if you don't want to. Uh, I prefer always to edit my picture on a computer. I never sh shoot a JPEG, I shoot RAW anyway. But I know many people don't want to use a computer or they need to uh, send straight away to uh, straight away to a, a social network, so they want to have the picture ready. Well, this is very possible with, uh, with with this camera and with many. But if I don't say that do it too, people will think, oh, but that one doesn't do it. Yes, it does. Okay. It has uh, the printing system that you can uh, print directly from the camera with the uh, uh, big bridge. And uh, for video, many people uh, ask me if there is an external connector. Yes. On this camera, there is an external connector, so you don't need a separate recorder. You can uh, plug directly your microphone in your camera. Uh, it's true that for serious video refer, you do need an external microphone, so it's very useful to have a connector. Otherwise, you need to have a separate recorder or use a phone to do it. Testing image stabilization. I'm walking up some steps. And I'm walking with handheld uh, camera and negative points uh, maybe the battery doesn't last too much uh, which is a problem of many micro four thirds uh, they give it for 330 pictures so you will need an extra uh, battery probably okay what do I like about it it's it fits in your hand really nice the grip is nice I like the way you hold it uh, the menus are really simple, really clear, no complication. It's, very, it's a camera that is really easy to use. Uh, you don't need to do a master to understand the menus and I think it's a great camera. Okay. Um, yes, I think uh, this is, I normally use my Olympus OMD5 Mark II. So I would say it's very similar camera when you have it in your hand. Actually, this, I think the grip is better on this one. This grip is more like the OMD1, okay? This grip is nice. And uh, I think who, who will buy, buy this? Well, anyone who doesn't want to invest in the best uh, body, uh, camera body, but do want to have uh, the opportunity to use good lenses. Uh, I, I think it compares to the OMD 10 Mark III, Mark II, and the OMD 5 Mark II. It's like in between there, okay? 
Uh, Olympus has some uh, features that this doesn't have. Uh, same way around, I mean, like the 4K photo Olympus doesn't have, so I don't use it, I don't need it. But uh, if someone wants Panasonic, I think this is a good option. And uh, my big problem with Panasonic is that before they didn't have uh, in body stabilization, this one has. So I think it's a good, uh, very good option, especially if you make a, a video. Okay. The autofocus is maybe a bit slow. On video 4K, it's a bit slow. On 10, uh, 1080, it's a lot better. But I think this is a completely recommendable camera. Uh, if it's in your budget, it's uh, you surely uh, should think about one. There are several options, but this is what, uh, a serious option if you're buying uh, that range of uh, camera. Uh, that range of camera, I prefer this far more than any intermediate reflex camera, no doubt. Okay. Well, that's it. Thank you very much to Photosura for lending me the camera. Thank to you for uh, watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my website erigibo.com. If you have any question, you can send me an email to info at And uh, my Facebook, facebook.com slash photo, my Instagram, erigibo, and my uh, uh, Twitter, erigibo. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh! <laughs>